It is the early morning as Duskwood awakes, her eyes seeing more details in the dark of this room than ever before. Over the night, her night vision mutation has mutated into high night vision, allowing her to see all the better into those shadows. The woods spent the day in this apartment as the dead shuffled beneath them. Dusk made for herself a wooden needle, sewing together her baseball cap and accidentally destroying her knee pads. But she learned a little bit more about tailoring in the process. And then to pass more time, the twins sat on the sofa and studied electronics. It was a chance for them to rest, recuperate, and for Dusk to see to their many wounds. And while it was a noisy night, they both did get the sleep that they needed. And now, with a little bit of the night left to go, the twins will need to be fast if they are to reach their goals. Kia ora, Legionnaires, Rikon here, and welcome back to Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, No Hope, where, yeah, over the night here, we got ourselves high night vision, which, having a look at that, we can now see incredibly well in the dark. We're not going to be turning that off or on, but unfortunately, it's not going to be helping us all that much tonight, because one, well, it's nearly morning, and it's foggy outside yet again. The fog is a real pain in the ass. And Elliot, having a quick look at you, I don't think there have been any changes for you, sir. You are as you were. And having a look at your wounds, everything has healed up rather nicely and your right arm is oh so close to being fully recovered. And so I have prepared us for a little bit of a journey by leaving some of our things behind here, namely the extra ammunition, tools and things like that that we're not going to need while we're outside. And oh boy, the sun has already risen at 5 a.m. in the morning. That is rather unfortunate. My goal today was to make it out across towards Glenburn and towards this structure here, a radio station that leads to a radio tower. And the reason we can't see anything behind here is because this radio tower is so large. But getting across towards that in the daytime would be no small task with no doubt massive numbers of dead in the area. Oh boy. Yeah, we really overslept. The other point of interest that I'm definitely going to want to try and make it towards at some point is this cabin down here. We can see that the origin of this cabin is magicalism, so it's something that we're most certainly going to want to check out. I imagine as Dusk and Elliot were on the roof of the apartment tower over here, that they saw in the distance a small trail of smoke drifting up from this cabin just on the outside of their vision. Yet this was no normal smoke, a strange color, perhaps a striking blue in the sky, a sign of civilization, of people, Yes, I would definitely like to make it towards there. And we may be able to try and use the sewer system to be able to navigate. Our nearest entry point to the sewers is over here, so it's still going to be pretty close to the town for the most part. And really, we do not want to be getting close to this collapsed tower. That's just going to be bad news in general. So I think what we're going to try and do with the day that we have now is start to slowly make our way towards the radio tower and towards some other points of interest like this police station here. But if things get too severe, too overwhelming, we'll see if we can't get ourselves just into a basement, perhaps in one of these houses, and we'll just try and lay low there until night is with us again. Uh, we are going to mark this apartment tower just so I can remember that this is a stash. There we go. So we know to come back to that. I suppose it would probably be better for us to mark here. Let's just do both just in case. There we are. Okay. Okay, now let's see what's been making all that noise downstairs, eh, Elliot? Well, we're already seeing some zombies out the front that are injured. Okay, well, we can work with that. Let's actually just drop our duffel bag up here for now. Because while we've limited the amount that we're carrying, it still is enough that it's going to cause us some trouble. And we can see trouble down here in the form of some zombies, a zombie runner. Well then, if I could get you to follow us over towards the stairs, we're going to just stand up and see if we can't start to slash down towards here. We managed to stun the zombie that was down here, kill it, and we're just going to keep on slashing away. I think that fat zombie is there now. 
Wonderful. So they can also attack us at this point, but I do believe that it's only going to be one at a time as they're trying to force their way up the stairs. Elias, if you head down, let's see what they've left on the ground here. Some narrow spectrum antibiotics that we'll see if we have the time to grab. We do, just, and it looks like we've got some dead that are going to have to try and clamber through this window to get towards us, which is going to slow them down. And it's kind of the perfect opportunity for us to fight whatever is here. How about you also clamber through that window? There you go. We're hearing more noises. And it does sound like the tough zombie hasn't managed to actually get out of there yet. That works for us. That doesn't. What the hell is that? Scissor limbs. I'm sorry, what? Um, a nightmarish spider of gore standing tall among the ruins, keeping silent watch of the blighted landscape, its spindly limbs of bone slip between the rubble with otherworldly speed. This thing here, that is from down here, from the collapsed tower, and it does not look friendly at all. So we are going to try and run over to the square here with Dusk. We're actually going to try and see if we can, oh boy, it jumps. That's unfortunate. Look alive, Elliot screams. Yeah. That's what we're going to be doing. So we're going to try and see if we can hurl this thing into the wall. Dusk, let's go for a force shove and let's shove it back away. And oh boy, we do. We certainly do. And now we are dealing with toxins all around us. There's no chance for us to get a filter mask on. And there's a zombie right here, but we can kill it quickly and then run to the staircase and get up as quickly as possible. Elliot, please follow. Elliot, oh my God, he's still down below. This is the worst case scenario. I think he's still down there. Let's get the filter mask on. Okay, we can see Elliot now. He's outside. He ran outside. Okay, so he's away from the smoke. That's good. I say smoke, it ain't smoke. It is incredibly toxic gas. He's being chased right now. As soon as that gas disperses, we'll go for him. Oh no, he's bringing everything onto him. Let's start to yell. Dusk, let's yell. And we do have an option. We do have one thing that we can try and do. Slow fall. The chance of failure is way too high. No, we, we can't. But we gotta go down. We gotta help him. Dusk, we gotta run into the hazy cloud. Get down and get out as fast as possible. Elliot, okay, he is near surrounded right now. I don't know how bad he is. Let's see if we can't start to fight our way over towards him. This might be a time where we need to utilize the assault rifle. Let's see, slashing out there. He is just running away right now, which that's actually working very much in his favor. There's a feral axe elf chasing him though, along with zapper zombies and other ferals. They are all quite injured though, slashing through them. Dusk is gonna try and see if she can get towards her brother. Let's stay moving. Elliot, okay, he's fighting now. Oh no, Elliot, what have you done? He's gone down towards a dino exhibit, I think. The zapper zombie is downed, Elliot is doing okay. They're hatchlings in here, and they're still alive. They're not zombified, okay. This morning has gone from bad to worse to Elliot bleeding. Okay, get back over here, brother. And now we can try and help. So the zapper zombie is a bit of a problem because we are using blades. So no matter what, it's gonna give us some trouble. Can we shove it away from us? 10% chance of failure. Let's just buy us some time. Oh, it's not giving us much. The fat zombie's down. Let's go for the zombie child next if we can. And now the zapper, we are just gonna have to slash out towards us. Okay, our mood is not great. We took down that zombie kid, but we are alive. So too is Elliot, but we're seeing some bad stuff around us. A gangrenous impaler, which is a decent distance away, but it can see our current location. Elliot, you are actually looking pretty good, all things considered. Although, yeah, I guess we can't be surprised there. He was fighting off a large number of them by himself. Let's see if we can get away now. We need to get back towards the building. We need to deal with, well, all that poison, first of all. We are still poisoned. Let's deal with the brainless zombie up here. Doesn't take us long to do that, thankfully. And we're just gonna have to wait here, see what happens. We can see a few things around. I think a little bit further up there were some ferals. So let's just stay a decent distance away from all of that. Right now, 
We're not seeing anything else, but we are poisoned. Badly poisoned at that. And sad. Well, we've had it worse. Elliot, thankfully, is in pretty good condition. Like, his torso will certainly take some damage from this. His head as well. But we could be... We could be way worse off. Let's just hope that, that smoke, that smog, starts to dissipate. We're just gonna have to wait here. We can see the gangrenous impaler leaping about, and it's heading this way right now. Of course it's coming for us. A corpse hideously twisted into an insect-like form, a hollow tendril reaches out from its open thorax. Hate that. So, what are we going to do? We're going to try and see if we can take it down from a distance. Our carving knife has actually taken some damage here. In our lifting field, I've been keeping our pistol so that we can try and hit things from a bit of a distance. I think we're probably going to try and just go straight for the rifle here. So, we're going to be dropping the carving knife now, taking out the rifle, and getting ready to take a precise strike on this thing. And we are just gonna have to wait until this thing gets a little bit closer, I think. Just that we actually have some kind of a chance to hit it. Jeez, okay, well, something just snuck up behind us. It's not getting any closer right now. It's just staying at that distance. Well, that's, that's concerning. Why is it doing that? I, do, I don't, I don't like that. Let's grab our knife and just start to see if we can back away from it. Cause it's just staying down there for now. Okay, and I think we might no, we can't get through that gas. Not a chance. So we're just going to have to try and stay to the side for now as it starts to dissipate. It's getting closer. This thing is acting kind of smart and I hate it. It's staying just outside of our firing range. We're just going to keep our eye on it for now. The poison has just dissipated. That's great. Let's see if we can move a little bit further away here. Okay, we do have a zombie that's heading on over towards us. There's feral humans across the way as well. Elliot, if you could deal with this one, that would be great. It is already quite injured, so yeah, let's just keep our eye on this impaler. It does leap around, tear gas on this one here, and a battery that we're going to grab. Well, we could start to try and move towards our destination. We'd be doing so without our pack though, which is something that I don't want to do. I do want to try and deal with this thing though. But yeah, our chance to hit it is just abysmal. But I'm not going to risk that shot. Okay, I think we can get into the apartment a different way. Let's just try and move around. Got quite an injured zombie here. Let's just wear the AR again, and we'll take out our carving knife. Uh, if we get an opportunity to do so, we're going to try and take off our filter mask, because that's going to be blocking our bite. Let's just start to make our way around here, and let's go and take that filter mask off for now okay looks like we've maybe got a way in here yeah we do we do have also a zombie dog and other things that are around here right now so let's get moving we've got a zombie in here hi take you down thank you elliot for closing the door wonderful and it looks like we might actually be able to get over towards the stairs without uh actually having to go through the gas yep there we go and up we go okay so we're back where we started and we had a very, very bad time. And Elliot's arm, unfortunately, has suffered quite a setback, but he is alive, and that is the main thing. As soon as that poisonous haze was released down there, I thought that was it, especially as soon as I started seeing him run off in the opposite direction. We still have that gangrenous leaper outside. I don't like that at all. We're gonna get our duffel bag back on, though, and I think, honestly, to play it safe, we're probably just going to have to try and spend the day here. As much as I want to be active and moving, I think them spending more time, resting, readying themselves, that's, that's the best thing to do. Oh, okay, as you can see, <laughs> there's been some changes. <laughs> Um, there was a fair bit of noise going downstairs. The twins here have just been learning more about electronics. Uh, while we were learning, Elliot's jaundice turned into a philoderm. Which is why he is now appearing green to us. A mutation that we usually associate with dusk. Let's have a look at that philoderm. Your skin is light green and has a slightly woody quality to it. This provides armor and helps you retain moisture, resulting in less thirst and greatly decreases wet penalties. A positive mutation for Elliot. Well, your luck is really with you today, my brother. Well, we're going to take this opportunity to have a little bit of a break. We haven't spent too much in the way of calories yet, so I think we're going to have a little bit of a lighter meal. Probably going with pickle, and we could have tofu, but that's going to drop our joy down by a lot. So let's just go for kiwi instead. If we cook the tofu, it's going to be better. Let's also have a lemon-lime soda. There we go. And we'll also have some aspirin to help with our minimal pain. We'll take two for now. And I do believe we're going to want to re-bandage our arms. Uh, just our right arm for now. 
in our head, we'll put a bandage on that. Elliot has yet again survived the poisoning, and it looks like we're probably only going to have to put a bandage on his left arm. There we go. And so we're going to continue spending more time here throughout the day at the very least, because daytime, it's just, it's way too dangerous right now. So we're going to get back to learning, reading together. Oh, no. <laughs> you suddenly register a buzzing in your senses. It's getting louder and your head starts to throb. Somewhere, a tiny cataclysm has begun. Check your mission log for details. Yes, we will stop reading. Okay, so there is a portal storm on the way. Seemingly. Yeah, we're the early portal storm, so it's just starting. Let's have a look at that mission log of ours. Center of the storm. This is the center of the portal storm. You could find it upside down, dizzy and blindfolded. Its presence is too altered to allow the mercy of ignorance. Where is it in relation to us? Having a look at this, it is in the air. Okay, out there by the dinosaur exhibit down the road. So that's the center of the storm. We are not going to be able to get to that. But what we can do is try and stay inside. And I think that's exactly what we need to do. Make sure that all the doors are closed, that we ignore the horrific sounds that no doubt we are going to hear out there. Now, Elliot hasn't experienced portal storms in his game, but the psychosis that he has comes from portal storms. And reality is breaking. Yeah, you can hear shuffling, Elliot. That's not the only thing that you're going to be hearing. Now, portal storms do also affect NPCs with the settings that I've kind of got going on at the moment. So we just have to really hope that Elliot is going to remain here, that he's not going to try and run away or anything like that. And actually, Elliot, we do have a little bit of a treat for you. We are going to trade you one of those delicious eggs that we've got. Oh, that we don't actually have on us right this second. So let's make this a quick transaction if we can. We're going to take one of these eggs and head back into the room here because he is getting quite hungry. And yeah, it does look like we can trade him this. Yeah, looks like a deal. Let's make that trade. And I, I will see if he eats it. Oh yeah, he eats it. He eats the whole ass egg. And <laughs> that is going to keep him very well fed. So I think these two are just going to stay kind of huddled in the room together as the storm outside rages. Let's go over by Elliot here and we're going to try and see if we can do a little bit more learning while we're in here. And hey, reality has gone back to normal. We made it. Staying inside is the right thing to do. And now that that's finished, we can come back here in the light. We won't have to use the powered screen now to read our stored books. But yeah, we're just going to continue. And thankfully, this is giving us a chance just to have recovery across the board with our arms and everything else. Sometimes you just need to take a day in Elliot. Elliot's mutating so quickly now. Elliot's pretty. Well then. Ah, there we go. And it's now too dark to read. It looks like the sun is on its way down. That's great. Elliot, let's have a look at you again. So yeah, he is now considered pretty. A sight to behold. People who care about such things will react more kindly to you. The pretty cannibal rocking the philoderm. I feel like Dusk is having a good influence on Elliot, who seems to be rather happy after munching down on that egg. And Dusk, maybe we want to do something similar. But in saying that, Dusk can eat other things that Elliot can't. I mean, although this will more than satisfy her hunger, we just don't have any way to cook inside at the moment. We're going to need to try and break down a brazier at some point. You know what? Screw it. Let's go for it. And yeah, we are going to stop eating there and just kind of Give that a chance to go down. And if we're waiting till night, it looks like it's only going to be about two hours away. There we are. And Dusk is tired now, which isn't ideal. So we're going to take some caffeinated chewing gum, two lots of that, to try and see if we can offset it a little bit. We're going to drink back some clean water because unfortunately we weren't able to keep down all of that egg, as you might imagine. And yes, we are still going to be leaving a few of these things behind. Elliot, though, I hope you're ready for a night of activity. I hope you're rested enough. Dusk's arms are looking right and ready, but what we need to remember is that down below us, that impaler might still be there, just waiting. So let's go cautiously. We're going to peek downstairs first of all to see what's there. Okay, blood stains. yes. Let's go this way here. Yeah, we'll go out the opposite direction to what we would usually go. Just along like this. Let's open up the window, 
clamber outside, Elliot. Okay. And it's yet another freaking foggy night. We've had so many of them. But yeah, okay. The goals are the same. Police station and radio tower. It is so early in the night that we're probably going to want to try and do other things as well, but they're the things that are on the first of our list. Oh, and it looks like Elliot's probably tired as well. I mean, we could, we could just try and sleep throughout the night, but no, we need to make it at least a little bit further. Let's get to the center of the road here and then just start making our way along. Okay, fat zombie to the south with an okay amount of health. Let's try and see if we can bring you on over. Elliot's already going to work here. Dusk getting in there with the fangs and with that blade of hers. The blade that we're probably going to need to try and swap out. So there is a house just to the south of us. We could investigate that to try and see if we can find a new knife. It is pretty messed up though, by the looks of things. There is an open window to the south. So let's make our way towards that first of all. Okay. It was open, it isn't anymore. That though, we can go for that. We can also just try and remove glass, but it takes a little while and uh, I'm not willing to do that right now. So let's see, um, not much of a kitchen. No, there's gotta be a kitchen somewhere else. So let's just make our way around here. Okay, we do have a zombie, hello. I would rather you not make noise. Okay, you're climbing through that perfectly fine. That's great, thank you. Good work, zombie. All right, what have we got in here? Carving fork, but no carving knife. There is a steak knife, a paring knife. Yeah, all of them pretty basic. A chef's knife is also something that I would go for, but yeah, all of these, no good, unfortunately. We'll also just kind of quickly check the bedroom if we can, see if there is anything else equipment wise that we'd want. Looks like some thread maybe. Yeah, we're always going to take thread. That is a good find. All right. Yeah. What do we got in the wardrobe? Halter top and some ankle socks. And that looks like it's about it. Okay. So we'll leave this place behind. It's not that helpful. I mean, there is another bedroom up the top there, but we're not all that interested in it. And the carving knife, while it's damaged, it's not, it's not super damaged. Let's mark that house as explored and see where we want to try and get towards next. We could kind of go up towards the cemetery here. But yeah, I'm, I'm just a little nervous in general about us being out during the night. I could look at flashing our flashlight to get an idea of what is around us. Looks like we've got a zapper over towards the northeast, so we'll try and stay away from that for now. Start to make our way down here towards what is a stone fence line. We've got a crawler here and a zombie dog. Let's go for the zombie dog first. It's quite injured. There we go. And the crawler second. Okay, right. Um, another zombie who is relatively healthy. So up towards us if you would take you out and we're actually we're kind of doing okay on cigarettes at the moment but we'll take a little bit more we haven't really been using them at all bait you up towards us take you out the critical is good more more cigarettes yeah we we do have enough let's start to make our way in through here and hey we've got activity we've got bile splatter across the floor as well this place is an absolute mess Elliot is trying to make his way in now as I speak I don't know where he's gotten to oh there he is okay and we've got a zombie child here who I would really like Elliot to try and fight the child, though, just made a load of noise. We've got a SWAT zombie here and another zombie child. Not a fan of that, really, at all. Okay, there we go. So what I'm going to try and do from this position is see if we can't um, slam that SWAT zombie against the wall. So using our force hand, we're going to slam it. Losing our concentration, unfortunately. Let's try again. Hurling it against the wall. Really good damage. Let's do that one more time, Dusk. Well done. Excellent. And hello, cockroach. Okay, what started slashing out towards us? Actually, the cockroach, ow, doing some damage to us there. DDT killed one insect. Congratulations, Dusk, on that. And yeah, let's make sure that we smash those remains. We don't want that coming back at all. Elliot, you're doing okay there? Yeah, he's fine. Did take down the zombie kid, but what can you do? He's feeling okay about it. Uh, that SWAT zombie did not have anything useful on it at all disappointing but expected at this point and we might have a wall through here to this other room we do have a basement which i'm most certainly going to want to check out but we'll do so cautiously as hello we've got more cockroaches here and just roach dirt all over the show um oh boy okay there's two of them here all right 
Let's start to slash out towards you and you up here. Elliot, if you wouldn't mind helping out. They're doing lots of small little attacks on us, which um, will start to add up. Elliot, get over here, thank you. And if we do have an opportunity to take off our backpack, we should probably look at doing that. We're getting a little out of stamina now. Our torso is bleeding slightly, and we've got more of these damn things around us. Elliot, come on, let's go, let's go. Keep on swinging. Okay, and I think we're good. Let's just drop the knife for a moment. We'll also have a look at just dropping the duffel bag too. Not the fitness band. We'll stop the bleeding, grab our carving knife again, and let's just start smashing, pulping these corpses here. And we're making a fair bit of mess. Let's wait a while, catch our breath back. I think that's probably going to be everything. We don't know for certain. Got some tights over here. Let's see what else we got going on. It's just dirt floor. Did they burrow into here? I think they might have. Okay. Yeah, we are striking better with our backpack off, so we will leave it off just for the moment. Yeah, it's all just kind of dirt ground here. Interesting. Any water in here? Yeah, clean water. Okay, our thirst is slaked. I think Elliot's probably going to be slaked as well. Although in saying that, we can dispense that. Pour that into the painkiller bottle. We need to have some better carrying options for our water. Okay, yeah. Uh, this is just a strange, strange, strange basement. What's in the lunchbox? Nothing. Okay, but that is a good backpack. A gallon jug of bleach. Well, there we go. We have a water option. It doesn't fit in any of our pockets right this second. Oh, a survival knife. Well, <laughs> I guess that's what we're going to be using then, Dusk. Let's grab that damn thing. And this does actually have block techniques. Yay. Okay. Yeah, we're going to grab our backpack, we're going to grab that bleach, and then we're going to fill it up with water. Oh, our canteen is already full. So it's it's not a necessity to have that much water with us, but, you know, we could have a look at it, couldn't we? So let's unload that bleach. We're going to pour it on the ground, just over here for now, and we'll take that gallon jug, and we'll go get that filled up with water. Gallon jug, thank you. And there's nothing over here, right? We can start a fire, so we can cook. And we might want to try and look at boiling some of our bandages. Nothing else down here, huh? Because the boiled bandages are going to be much better for treatment going forwards. How many do we have at the moment, though? Okay, we we do have a few with us, and it would be using a little bit of the clean water, but I think that would I think that would be useful and worth it for us to do. Let's take some more aspirin for the mild pain that we're in at the moment, and we're going to need a little bit of light here. So let's use the smartphone, turning on the flashlight. We're going to deconstruct some furniture, taking apart the counter that we've got over here, and let's just start hauling those over towards where we're going to start this fire. Furnace, let's go chuck in the planks and the wooden panels. We will start a fire with our reusable lighter. And now with the light that we've got, we can turn off our smartphone and sit by the fire for a little while and see if we can't make some stuff. First of all, food. Well, we don't actually have much in the way of food stuffs with us, but let's just search for bandage. Okay, why can't we make a boiled bandage? Because I left the pot. Okay, now there was a fry pan upstairs. We might be able to use that potentially. Let's just make our way. Oh, that was in the other building. All right, so there's still a possibility that we might be able to find something useful here. Let's take out this zombie. Oh, we're still moving items. That's a problem. Yeah, definitely stop hauling. Yeah, we we're, were hauling some nails, huh? Elliot, what are you doing? You are falling over and standing up. You were slipping over on the bile, I think. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Stop doing that, my dude. Uh, what do we got here? There's a panicked person. Hmm. The remains of a panicked person. Well then, I think we might want to try and do something with that panicked person. With Elliot, of course. We'll try to remember that, that person is there. We do have some rubber gloves. We'll take them because they can be useful. And ideally, we'll get into there without making too much noise. There might be another way around. Let's just check that counter. Nothing. All right, we've got another fireplace here. Plastic sheet. Yeah. All right, in the kitchen, what have we got? A pot, wonderful. And a, that is a massive propane tank in the oven. I guess it's attached to the oven if I had to take a, a wild guess. Nothing else in this kitchen though. We will just check the rest of the place or not. Hey, Elliot, let's just leave them. Yeah, we don't need to deal with them right now, so we're not gonna. We can also go upstairs, and I know that this is not where I was intending to go, uh, but, you know, sometimes you just have to change your plan, work with what you got, and just, yeah, pop down here, Elliot. And let's have a look at bandages. Boiled, makeshift, 
bandage. Wonderful. We can do five lots of those. It's going to use 10 of our clean water, or rather it's going to produce 10 water afterwards. Just put our knife away for now, and let's pour that water back into our plastic canteen, and then the gallon jug. Wonderful. Okay, so boiled makeshift bandages. It's saying average quality at the moment, but it can be good, especially when our healthcare gets better than what it's at at the moment. And Elliot, let's have a look at those wounds of yours. Okay, we'll give you we'll give you a better bandage for your arm. One of our new boiled bandages. There you go. That should help that heal up real nice. Okay. So, we are going to continue on, try and see if we can make it a little bit further in the night, and I suppose it would make sense for us to check upstairs before we leave this place. The other dead haven't made their way in here yet, and this is a three-story house? Hot damn, okay. Bigger than I've seen, and I mean this in itself would give us a pretty good view of the area. Gonna make a kit box there. The lighter, okay, nothing else in that space. We'll check out the rest of the floor though. Ooh, okay, we've got some cabinets, but nothing in them. In saying that though, we can try and lockpick those. A little bit of a game space. Yet another staircase out the front here. Things to do with milk. Don't mind if I do. Oh, we have a sad letter home just in this desk here. A written message from a student to their parents scrawled on a notebook paper. They're having a really bad time at college and want to come home. Nothing seems to be going well. Their grades and heart are in the dumps. A simpler time, and it's something that Dusk has never known. Okay, well, we're gonna be heading upstairs, seeing what we got up the top here. It might just be the roof. No, it's a whole nother level. And we've got some jeans, wonderful. Reason I'm excited about that is because our jeans are not looking all that hot. So we're gonna be taking the stuff out of them first of all, and then dropping our old jeans on the ground. Got some electronic cigarettes in here and not much else in this room. A foam rubber bat and a deck of sorcery cards. I don't know if we can actually use these for entertainment value. Actions play. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna take some Magic the Gathering cards. And that's that room. Got some solder. Yeah, sure, we'll take it. And a soldering iron. Yes, please. Very nice. And just a regular backpack in here. And a bathroom that's got some hydrogen peroxide. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't look like we can get to the roof from this building. But, you know, three-story building. Not bad. It would give us about the same level of sight that we have from the current apartment tower that we're in. So let's head back downstairs. Out the front door here. Oh boy. And hello, Feral Dwarf. Clutching a crowbar and hurling rocks in our direction. Let's just hide here for a moment. Looks like Elliot is getting engaged in the fight. All right, we're gonna start to slash out towards you. You seem to be quite difficult to hit. Like really difficult to hit. What is? Okay, I mean, 43 torso encumbrance. But yeah, we're really struggling to hit with this. I guess maybe the survival knife, it is more difficult to use. There's a minus one to hit. We might actually be better off trying to just make a cudgel or something like that. We'll see how we fare against the regular dead here. Okay, not too bad. And against the tough zombie, kind of the same deal there. Piercing and sinking our fangs and we are still doing good damage. The feral dwarf is yet another body that Elliot could really make use of. But right now, honestly, because of how full he is from the freaking dinosaur egg, it's not something that he needs to really worry about. Now, I think we still want to make sure that these bodies can't come back to life. They are still bodies that can be butchered, even if we have, you know, uh, poked them. They're just a little more tenderized. We're going to mark this place as explored for now, and I think we're probably just going to try and bypass the police station and get straight on over towards the radio station. We're going to be turning safe mode on and we're going to be moving as cautiously as we can. Sounds like there's already something over here though. A crawling zombie. Okay, we can take care of that. A few quick attacks. It looks like we've got a brainless zombie as well. Okay, very quickly taking care of them. Nothing that we want from them. Let's keep on moving. There's a zombie child. We'll try and get some distance away from them. Ideally just staying in the center of the street here. We do have a zombie that's going to make its way on up towards us. And then with a few quick slashes and chomps, we got them down. But yet another. Okay. All right. We do need to be a little cautious here because we can get overwhelmed very quickly. There is a multi-tool in this one. We don't have a multi-tool yet, so we're going to see if we can grab that. The zombie child, Elliot is going to have to deal with. And we are going to have to deal with this. A bat wing zombie. This zombie's arms have stretched far beyond human limits. The skin lengthened into a gruesome fleshy membrane. The mutation does not suit it well. It moves clumsily 
even compared to other zombies, but can occasionally leap a significant distance. Let's slash at this thing here, taking it out as a feral dwarf emerges from the darkness. Okay, all right, come on then, let's do this thing. You managed to hit our torso, not a fan of that. Dusk getting some slashes in with her knife here. Elliot starting to get a little overwhelmed by the numbers that are around him. Come on, Dusk, take this thing out. Come on, she's been grabbed now. Let's take that zombie out first and then continue to focus on the dwarf. Now up towards your brother. Ideally, we take down the regular zombie and Elliot takes down the kid. How are you looking, buddy? You, you're looking surprisingly okay. Your arm didn't get damaged there. That's the main thing. We're going to smash that corpse and we'll see if there's anything among these ruined bodies that we actually want to try and take. The memory card, yes. There's always a chance that we could find something interesting on those cards. Got some tramadol here. We'll take the single lot. And hopefully that's most of the nighttime walkers that were around here. Not quite, it might seem. So let's try and give them some space and just see if we can kind of make our way around them. If we had just better sight, if the fog wasn't here, we'd be in a much better position. But unfortunately that is not the case. And we've got a zombie dog that's on us now. All right, come on. Here we go. Good work. Inactivity is making its way down from the northeast. So let's head down towards the homes here, hoping that we can lose it. Doesn't look like we can, and yeah, there are just some serious numbers around us at the moment. We're not going to really be able to get our pack off, so we're just going to have to stand our ground here and try and take these dead down as fast as we can, slashing out towards them one by one. The woods do what they do best. Come on, there we go. Another down. Elliot takes down the kid. We're on to one more fat zombie. Dusk, well bloody done. Blood is dripping from your torso right now. Let's just drop the survival knife so that you can try and stop that. And let's check over these corpses. Nothing, nothing at all. Looks like we've got another wasp nest down here though. So that could disrupt the numbers of dead. Let's get that safe mode back on and keep on moving along here. Wary now that there might be wasps out in the night. Let's stick to that zebra crossing. Okay, a regular zombie to the south. Doesn't look like we're gonna be able to get away from it. So let's just get ready to strike it down. Dusk going to work. All right, and whenever we do have those fights, I do want to try and see if we can get away from them kind of as quickly as possible. Purely just because uh, the longer that we're around there, the more that we will be drawing towards us. That runner is probably going to make its way on over towards us no matter what we do here, but we've taken down that one. Let's just keep on going further to the south, <laughs> and it's a different runner. Okay, let's back up towards Elliot here. I'd like him to help us out. Keep on slashing. There we go. And we've probably got another. Yup, there's a group of runners around here, it seems. Okay, backing off. Let's take it down. And even more are making their way on over towards us from the north. Damn it. Elliot, you hold your own down there. We're going to start to try and take the ones up the top. Dusk, good work. But you're taking more damage yet again. More than I would like. Okay, and that is a brainless zombie. Come on, let's make it happen. Okay, let's get down to towards this house if we can. Drop that survival knife. We need to try and stop the bleeding. Good work, Dusk. She's consistently taking more damage than Elliot. And a large part of that is due to the fact that she's just not going to be able to dodge as well as she usually would, carrying this big duffel bag on her back. And oh boy, we are far too close to that wasp nest for my liking. Safe mode. Let's get you back on. Let's just get a little bit closer. Taking out the zombie dog along the way. Let's bring it back towards Elliot. Good work. And it looks like we're going to have to take on a tough zombie before we can go any further. All right, let's make it fast, you two. And thankfully they do, as the decayed zombie stumbles out of the darkness very quickly. It is dead once again. We got ourselves a memory card. Let's keep on going. All right, we got a grocery store to our southeast where we're hearing a fair bit of noise. So let's actually start to head north up towards the police station. An acidic zombie doesn't sound like it would be fun right now, so let's go a little bit further this way towards what I think is another set of, oh no, botanical gardens, not grocery stores. That's good. All right, let's stay moving. And here we go. That, I believe, is the edge of the police station and it sounds like we're being followed. Oh, we were a shady zombie in the night sneaking up behind us. And we've got some locked doors ahead of us and so much noise inside the police station. So you know what, on second thought, maybe we don't want to be screwing around with that. Not right now, not with our goal so close. Through the gardens, we shall go. Got another zombie to take care of. There we are. They're getting damn good at this now, these two. Dusk, however, is in distracting pain. So we're gonna take a moment to take that tramadol that we picked up. 
it's going to improve her mood a little bit here and it will help start to deal with that pain. We're also going to have yet another caffeinated chewing gum. We've spotted a zapper in the distance, but I think they're quite distant. That radio tower, that is close. Backing off, we've got a regular zombie to take care of. There we go. It did get a bite in on Dusk's torso. And unfortunately, her arms are starting to feel it once again. Let's start to try and make our way across the road here. We've got another zombie to kill. We can see that a few times Dusk is actually blocking all of the damage with the survival knife, so it is doing some good for us. Let's back on up, get Elliot to help us. Here we go. That's a little bit better. We're not going to worry about cash, but we will go for cash cards where we can find them. The Rottweiler knows exactly where we are. Okay, we're going to back on up here, and there's another zombie kid that Elliot is going to have to try and take on by himself. I believe in you, brother. You can do it. Come on, there we go. Doing work for us. All right, we've got a regular one coming. Stumbling out of the dark. There we go, Dusk. Let's continue heading south. Get that safe mode back on. Oh, we've spotted the zapper again. Okay, so maybe not, but we are nearly there now. Our goal should be just over here to the right and Come on. A zombie, a thorny shambler, and a regular zombie. Let's see if we can back up a little bit further here, Elliot, and get away from the bulk of this mess that's over there. Come on, a little bit further. It looks like we're going to have to fight off this zombie here. Done and dealt with. Okay, so what have we got on this side? This is a diner. Okay, maybe we can approach the radio station from the south. Let's head into the diner for now. Close that door behind you. And we've got some cakes, fresh cakes at that. And I don't know if Elliot is going to be able to eat those cakes. We've actually had a considerable amount of calories because of the eggs, so we're just going to take them as they are. And let's see, when are they going to go off? Four days. Okay, so we are safe to hold on to them for the moment. Let's just quickly check this kitchen here. There's a Dutch oven, no food in the fridges, and nothing of interest stored back here. Got some bathrooms, and I think we've got a way out. Oh, a cookie. Yes, please. And some more cakes? Yes. Some old cakes, too. Okay. Out the back door we go. All right. And we... <laughs> We are nearly there, folks. I think this is the car dealership. Yes, it is. Okay, just a little bit further and another zombie to go. Okay, we've got a grocery store just to the east of us. All right, that, that is the radio tower. Okay, all right. Now we just need to find where we can actually begin the climb. It seems like the grocery store down here has been pretty well looted. Come on, where's the entrance? Okay, there we go. Can we pry this open? No, we can only try and pick it. Okay, that is unfortunate. And, <laughs> and even more unfortunate is the full health tough zombie that tried to give us a little bit of a beatdown with absolutely nothing on their corpse to show for it. All right. Actually, you know what? I don't know if we want to try and clamber in this way. We might want to just make our way up one of the downspouts. Yeah, it is a bit of a risk, but climbing isn't going to be as dangerous. Let's just see if we can climb to the north. We can, and I do not know where Elliot went then. Elliot climbs the chain link fence. Okay, okay, that's the tower here, it looks like, maybe. Okay, we need to get back down, and I really want to try and do so safely. Okay, we managed. Elliot, where are you? You're to the west right now. Okay, you're right here. That's good. The tower might actually be on top of this or ha, uh, out here. Yeah, that seems more likely. Let's climb over the fence. And there it is. A ladder going up. Is this the right one for us to take? Oh, it most certainly is. Up and up and up we go. I can see my house from here. We are atop the radio tower, but it is only 918. We're not going to be able to see anything from up here it's not going to really help our site at all but in the morning it will we do need to make sure that we have somewhere safe to stay right after dawn and because it's so early in the night we still have much more that we can do and i do want to try and make it down towards this cabin but we're gonna to have to be cautious because we have had some very close calls tonight yet dusk and Elliot are still alive and breathing, with both of them mutating more in this episode. Let's see where it takes us. For now, I'd like to thank you all for joining me for yet another episode here in The Cataclysm. If you enjoyed today's episode, please consider leaving a comment or a like to let me know if you enjoyed the show. As for now, I have been Rykon. You have all been awesome. And until next time, Stay tuned.